standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. this.
This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. 
You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't hey. leave me. Hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we're ending this. console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... <sighs> this is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. 
assemble new geth with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alari. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alari that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Look at them. All of you. They don't care about Tally. All they care about is their war with the Geth. Tally risked her life for all of you. On Hastrum, hell, on the Citadel when she stopped Saren. She deserves better than this. If Commander Shepard has no new evidence, I suggest we render judgment. Wait! Shepard is right! Tally saved me. She doesn't deserve to be exiled. Damn straight. Tally's done more for this fleet than you assholes ever will. You're pissing on everything I fought for, everything Tally fought for. So if you exile her, you might as well do the same to me. Me too. Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please, don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora Vas Normandy. Kila Salai. I can't believe you pulled that off. 
what you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Telly, about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Come on, Tally Zora, Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This looks interesting. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tally? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. He did leave a message. Rail used his last words to give Tally orders. That's all that mattered to him. I know how that might seem, but the fleet's safety was the gift Riel wanted to give to his daughter. I never asked for that. It wasn't the gift I wanted. I know, but it's the only one he could give. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us alive. Vitor, I can't believe you stood up and spoke for me. Oh, well, it's good Rieger was there. He said most of it. Vitor, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. And thank you, Shepard, for, for helping me and Tally both. Guess you just needed a pretty woman to help you feel better. Well, maybe. Good luck, Tally. And you too, Commander. Carl, thank you. I can't believe you did that. You'd have done the same for me, ma'am. Figured I had to say something when you didn't use that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Carl. Notice that, ma'am. Any idea what your next assignment's gonna be? Hmm. I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. What's your take on the war? Are the Admirals gonna try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the Admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. But a soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. I appreciate your help, Rieger. I don't know what I would have done if you and Vitor hadn't stood up to help. I'm sure you'd have figured something out. Good luck out there, ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. Tally and Shepard are good at killing synthetics. We'll have that on our side. The Admirals would have faced a coup if they'd exiled Tally Zora after what Shepard said. I knew they wouldn't exile Tally. Congratulations, Tally Zora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the Rhine, whenever you decide to come home. Good luck out there. would like to talk with you. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The Commander's taken out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. 
I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Horashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife in... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. There you are. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends, but I haven't forgotten our earlier... D assuming you're still interested. Oh, I'm definitely Glad interested. to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet.
Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Shepard. I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that. You have been a good friend to me. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the Void takes them. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the Void takes them. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. That's all for now. Shepard. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. Been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Yes. Freaks you out, doesn't it? Leave me alone, Shepard. I don't want this. You're lying. Don't tell me what I feel. I've been here before and I know what I need, for me. Go away. I don't want you coming around here for a while. Keila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an Admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve, but my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work, but thanks for checking on me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later.
back for more. You smoke, Shepard? Don't. That stuff will kill you. Your kid once. Weapons dealer. Probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. Tossed a butt, blew himself sky high. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard.